On July 31st, 2021, I received an Instagram message from user Cedaford. She was a scammer looking for an easy target. But what happened next is that she came across a man so mysterious, so riddled with burden and pain, she'd never guessed the kind of past that he had that was sure to catch up with him, and eventually her. Of course, Cedaford is just assuredly some dude from a different country trying to scam me. And so I did what anyone in my position would do. Improvise. The following series is a verbal reenactment of my experience over several weeks. We'll be releasing this entire thing in a series of videos with an eventual single take on the whole thing for you to enjoy. Let's take this journey together. Welcome to the Bologna Saga. Hello? Oh, hey. How are you doing? I'm great. Holding back my daughter's hair while she vomits in the toilet. She asked if she could eat her markers and I told her absolutely. So now we're just dealing with the results of science. What about you? Eating anything good recently? Yes. Got little good food sometimes. Nice meeting you. Where are you from? Nice to meet you, too. And I'm from Nantucket. You may have heard of me. I'm a man from there. Well, I am Jennifer Williams from Fort Hood, and currently in Turkey for peacekeeping. Oh, I've heard of Turkey. There was a really famous boxer from there that I used to absolutely love. I had his poster on my wall, and when I was a little boy, I'd sit there and chew on scented markers and stare at him and cry. My dad left when I was two, so the man on the poster was the only father I really had growing up. How old are you? I'm just a little under 55 now. They used to refer to me as old 53, but I ended up having a surprise birthday and they had to change that up real quick. How about you? You look about 22. Am I close? Well... I am 38 and I will be 39 on the 15th next month. People tell me I look younger than my age. I say, oh, it's thanks to the Lord. No way. You definitely just graduated college. I don't believe you're a day over 25. And you say a Lord made you young? I'm unfamiliar. Is he a magician? Did he cast a spell? What are you doing in Turkey other than studying arcane spells that keep you looking like a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys? Does Fort Hood have a football team? Anyway, I'm a single dad who has lots of money and loves women in foreign countries. I'm glad you decided to message me. Fort Hood is a United States Army post located near Killian, Texas. Named after Confederate General John Bell Hood, it is located halfway between Austin and Waco, about 60 miles, 97 kilometers, from each, within the U.S. state of Texas. The post is the headquarters of Ilkor and 1st Army Division West and is home to the 1st Cavalry Division and 3rd Cavalry Regiment, among others. It is one of the U.S. Army installations named for Confederate soldiers to be renamed by the Commission on the Naming of Items of the Department of Defense that commemorate the Confederate States of America or any person who served voluntarily with the Confederate States of America. It sounds like you really went to college for geography. All right then, pretty lady. What can I do for you tonight? What do I gotta do to get some more facts about this fine city that cradled you? Are you single? I absolutely am. As single as a dollar bill in a stripper's thong. My grandma used to say that all the time, but she only got paid one dollar an hour when she was a stripper during the Great Depression. Well, I am a single. I have been single now for two years, and I divorced two years ago after I caught my man several times cheating on me. I know shit happens, but won't tolerate that. Color me interested. Speaking of... Do you know how to get colored marker and vomit out of a little girl's hair? Wait, he cheated on you? He doesn't know what he was missing out on. What was his name? Was he also from the Army Post located near Killeen, Texas? His name didn't happen to be John Bell Hood, did it? LOL. He's just a four-minute work. Oh, good. I was gonna say, 
I would roll up my sleeve and pound that guy into peanut butter if I caught him cheating on you. But the foreman, that's okay. He didn't know any better. Heck, he probably just didn't understand. Those guys only know one thing, hard work and hot girls, am I right? I know that's two things, but consider it a noun phrase. Anyway, are you looking for a man who's as good as four men? <laughs> my ex always used to tell me I had the funny bone from hell. But really, aside from my two kids, I'd love to have a woman like you in my life. What are you looking for in a woman? I love a woman who loves just one thing, air fried steak. I want to be able to eat that with her for every single meal, even after a trip to the hospital. Just that I am looking for a nice, kind, and caring man. A man that will love, care, and be with me for the rest of my life, spending my life and time. Oh, so you want to have? Well, Jennifer, have I got news for you. I hope you like iTunes gift cards, because I basically replaced every contact in my Rolodex with them. You can have them any time you want. You want to take my kids to New York? I'll charter a jet for you. You want to eat apples off our naked sunburned bodies on the veldt of Kenya? I'll fire up the ATV. You want to walk into the garage and touch my truck any time you want? Not going to happen, but I will show you video feed from a closed circuit feed that you can look at at the inside of the garage. I'll even let you hit rewind. All I need from you is just being sincere to make me feel secure, love, care, and being understanding. Oh, baby girl, I got that. But you're so far away. Didn't you say you were in Turkey? Do you need to borrow my car? Heck, you can have my car. Please tell me what you need and I'll do literally anything but the truck thing for you. Do you have hangout? We did have an old tire swing in the back of my grandma's house behind the garage. Is that what you mean? Squirrel died in it, though. So we dumped a bunch of acorns on it and left it there, but it's probably been a few winters since we last checked on it. I mean a Google Hangout. Not always available on here. I want us talking better on Google Hangout. Oh, no. I've never heard of that before. You'll have to forgive me. My son is the one who set up this phone application for me. Told me it would be a great way to meet women. Do you have a Google Hangout? And sure enough, here we are. Two souls, twin flames, in love. I've dreamt of the day you'd find me. But no, I still don't have a Google Hangout. I want you getting Hangout from your device app store. Please don't rush me. Ever since Bologna left me, I've been real nervous about dipping back into the dating pool. You wouldn't hurt me like she did, would you? I want you to set it up. I mean no harm to you, my dear. Please tell me you won't hurt me. She used to take pieces of string cheese and block my urethra when I was asleep and pretend I had a disease when I woke up in the morning. And she made me feel real bad about myself. I am truly sorry you had to go through a lot, my dear. Okay, then you'll understand why I can't get Google Hangout right now. It's just asking a lot really soon. Tell me you aren't like her. Tell me Bologna won't ever hurt me again. I will never hurt you, my dear. I just want you to let go Bologna and let's start a new life in a better beginning. Okay, that makes me feel better. I think some of the cheese is still there, but I have flashbacks of her telling me I was awful at peeing and I get really timid. Maybe that's why I make my kids eat markers. Tell me we're going to begin a new life in Turkey together, or did you want to move back to Fort Hood? Well, my deployment gets over by September and will be stateside. We can really soon, my dear. Oh, perfect. September is the anniversary of when I ran away from her. I ran. So fast, so scared. I was bleeding and peeing and crying all the way to the sheriff's office. He was so kind and offered me a donut and gauze. He was so important to me, I renamed my son after him. Do you have any kids? I am single, no kids. Oh, I see. Well, if this works out, Ox Kilgore, my oldest, would love to get to know you. And her little brother, Meat Man, is an incredible child. Can simply look at a picture of food and know what ingredients go into it. If you ever wanted kids, it doesn't get better than these two. Don't you want children? 
If you fall in love with me, they're part of the package. They're the only thing that keeps me going once Bologna ran me out. I have no issues with getting to know your kids, my dear. I treat them as I treat mine. Together, we make a better family. What is your phone number? Perfect. They're incredibly intelligent, would love to have a new mother. They would always ask me, Papa, does Bologna not love us anymore? And I would tell them, oh, my sweet ox meat man, don't you worry. She isn't real anymore. She can't block your tracts. And my phone number is area code 303-636-8296. All over that number reminds me of being a kid. But please, she can't find out. If she does, she'll hunt me down like a group of feral pigs out to get a hot meal. Bologna can smell my fear, and I don't want her to find the children or myself. Once I left Nantucket, I thought I'd be safe, until one day I got a mysterious card in the mail. Sent you text? Oh, my phone is a landline. The text won't go through. I'll just have a regular phone in this iPad here. I figured if I had a cell phone, then Bologna could track me down, so I had to use a regular phone line. I want you to set up Hangout on your iPad. I'm afraid of her finding me. This is too important to me. If I put my information out there, I won't feel safe. What can you do to guarantee my safety? I assure you there will be an issue. It will just be personal to both of us, my dear. You'll have to earn my trust first. This is a big commitment. I know you want a good relationship, and you want to be happy with a special woman. That's correct. The special woman has been on my mind ever since I saw Barbarella. She made me feel things I never expected to feel before. She's the reason I wanted to have an unclogged urethra. Trust, loyalty, and respect are a must for eternal happiness. No matter how much you love someone, if you don't have these ingredients, you will never succeed. Meet man. That's what he said the first time I held him. He understands ingredients better than anyone I know. Maybe you were always meant to be his mom. His meat mom. To be in love means being patient. But to be patient, you must trust him or her first. You can never find love through the eye or ear. So you must trust the only thing that will never fade until you die. Your heart. My heart tells me I cannot install Google Hangouts right now. I need to learn more about you. I need to be a patient like when I was taken to the hospital for trying to remove the cheese. Tell me about your worst injury. Please tell me I'm not the only one that's ever been injured. My worst injury is when I have to leave my mom alone at the nursing home to carry on with saving the nation that you do not know if you're making it through. Did you save it? The nation, that is. I'm sure your mother would be very proud to know that you're responsible for such a huge result. You look like you have very strong arms. Can you lift up a truck? I want picture of you, too. Oh, wow. You can lift up a truck. That's what I like in a woman. How many people have you had to shoot to keep your mom safe? This is me now. I have a picture of the day my son was born, before I changed his name. But my daughter is still sick, and I have to clean the market and vomit out of her hair. I'm going to go take care of her tonight. Thank you for keeping me safe from Google Hangout in Bologna. You are the best wife I've ever had. Do you have a cash app? I do not. I have a daughter's club card and a credit card and a single dollar bill in my underwear. But I will get cash app for you if it helps. Do you need to borrow some money? I want you to get cash app. I have business running down cash app and my cash app is failing to receive payment. Okay, but I will have to do it tomorrow. I have to take care of Ox. She's calling for me. It's a wild night. Officer Meat Man is busy tonight or he'd bring me some Tylenol to give to her. Perfect. I will get Cash App and I would absolutely love to help you with this business. That makes me feel like I'm a real husband to you. Okay, my dear. I just want you to take care of yourself. I will. I'm going to get some eggs before bed and get my little daughter back to the hands of care so she doesn't go into the hands of the Lord, if you know what I mean. I'll download Cash App tomorrow. Good night, sweet, lovely, not baloney yet army woman, Jennifer. This has been the best night of my life so far. The Lord does magical things. Praise the Lord and pass the chicken. 
Something's cooking in my father's kitchen. That's an old hymn my grandma used to sing. Good night, my perfect, sweet, beautiful wife. Also, do you have a printer I can borrow? I'll explain tomorrow. Good night, my dear. I have risen. Ever heard of that one before? My brother Grenshaw used to say that every morning before he jumped out of the kitchen pantry covered in soot and peanut butter. Good morning, and how was your night? It was great. Ox finally got to sleep, but she just has multicolored chunks of vomit in her hair and looks like she just got back from a Tim McGraw concert. So sad to hear about her, and hope you got night rest. Thank you. Yeah, it was real touch and go for a bit, but finally I just gave her some z and ignored her pleas until she fell asleep. 